please subscribe Sporta TV for more information, MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. Rider test KTM, Danny Pedrosa has offered his insight into Pedro Acosta including how the future starlet can take advantage of wherever KTM places him. Such is the talent of Moto2 standout Acosta, KTM have promised him a seat in the Premier class next year even though they were happy with their four contracted riders. How the manufacturer can keep Jack Miller, Brad Bender, Paul Espargaro and Augusto Fernandez happy remains to be seen but it's certain that want to please Acosta. The 19-year-old Spaniard can even lean on the wisdom of Pedrosa MotoGP's best-ever rider without a championship and now KTM's test rider who shown last week as a wildcard in Mizano. Acosta had previously been complimentary alongside most of the MotoGP grid last weekend about Pedrosa's enduring brilliance. We are very happy that Pedro is moving up to MotoGP, Danny Pedrosa told AS. He is showing that he is going very strong and let's hope that this year ends as it should. There is still half a season left and he has to focus on finishing well this year. All KTM members will try to help him with everything he needs. Of course it is a good compliment on your part and shows that you are a person who tries to focus and wants to do things well in the future," Pedrosa reacted. He is already trying to see how he will do next year, which shows a lot of intelligence on his part. There will be enormous pressure on Acosta next year given the hype for his rookie season. He will surely notice the media change, because the categories below MotoGP are something very different. There is a lot more media attention on MotoGP, Pedrosa said. And being a rider who generates so many expectations due to his quality and results, there will surely be expectation and he will attract many fans who will get hooked on TV in the first race. Chances of doing it well? I don't know, because many things can happen but it is very valid to adapt quickly as he already demonstrated in Moto3. A key question for KTM is whether to put him in their factory or satellite team. Because of what he is demonstrating, yes, but you don't have to put any pressure on him," Pedrosa said. In our case, both teams are very good and either of them will have very good support," Danny Pedrosa said. That's no problem. Maybe there is a determining point that can be more mental, knowing that you are in the first or second team, but on a technical level both teams are very good. On the other hand, Luca Marini says it would be fantastic to have Marc Marquez join Grazzini Ducati but that he can't see the six-time MotoGP champion leave Honda. Luca Marini is enjoying his best season in MotoGP aboard the Ducati which can be said for many riders including series leader Francesco Bagnaia, Jorge Martin, Alex Marquez and Marco Bezzecchi. But one rider who is certainly not is Marc Marquez, as the eight-time world champion remains desperate for Honda to improve their bike. The recent Nizano test wasn't much better for Marquez, who has been toying with the idea of leaving the Japanese manufacturer. Some sections of the MotoGP paddock think he could make a sensational switch to Grazzini Ducati, while others believe Marquez is enjoying the spotlight without any intention to leave Honda. After his home round, Marini spoke about the chance of Marquez joining Ducati and whether he would like to see it happen. I wish, claimed Luca Marini. That would be fantastic. Having a rider of his level with my bike would be great because you can compare data and compare yourself in the same conditions. He definitely has a lot to give still. Is he playing with Honda? I don't know. I wouldn't give up the 12 million euros he earns per season. Also, the bike now is no longer the one that it was at the start of the championship. They've made great progress. I'd be amazed if he left now. These comments came after the one-day test which Marini ended fastest. The Italian spent much of the test trying to find a better setup as he only tested a few new parts. We didn't have a lot of things to test, added Valentino Rossi's brother. We only tested geometry, suspension, and some shock absorbers. On the other hand, Valentino Rossi and Danny Pedrosa battled for several years at the highest level in MotoGP and the doctor, who still follows closely the championship, said he is also looking with special attention to his former rival saying he feels happy to see him still very competitive.
Owner of the Mooney VR46 racing team, Rossi looks carefully at MotoGP, even more when someone like Pedrosa stands in, as he told quoted on Motosan. I always follow Danny when he does wildcards, he had an amazing weekend in Mizano. It was impressive that he was fighting for the podium in the sprint, but even more so in the race on Sunday. I am very happy to see him so competitive. We have been racing together for almost 15 years. Pedrosa who also got to spend some of his time competing in four wheels, like Rossi on even Jorge Lorenzo, isn't the most active driver as Valentino Rossi recalled, he doesn't do many races with the cars, but for the bike riders the cars are a lot of fun, because you have a similar feeling. With the bikes, Valencia is always complicated because with the bikes we come in November and sometimes it's cold, so it's better. On the other hand, Peko Banyaya says the new front tire pressure rules are making it very difficult to overtake in MotoGP. The reigning world champion currently leads the MotoGP standings despite seeing his advantage carved into by Jorge Martin following his double win at Mizano. Martin led every lap of the sprint before doing the same during the 27-lap Grand Prix. Much of this was down to Martin having the best pace of anyone, however, Banyaya and Marco Bezzecchi both had the potential to challenge Martin early on before seeing their front tire pressures rise. Discussing the lack of overtaking, Banyaya said, For me it's also about the new regulation about the front pressure which doesn't allow us to overtake. When you are close to overtaking, four or five laps later your front pressure is too high and you can't make an attempt. If you risk too much you start to lose the front a lot and it's more risky. The new regulation for the front pressure is a bit of a disaster for those kinds of things. Also, with this kind of pace it was not helping to make an overtake. Jorge was doing an incredible job out of fast corners. After the British GP the rule was mandated which meant riders had to run a minimum pressure of 1.8 bar in the front. But as expected when following other riders, the pressures fluctuate which can make it easier to crash. Paco Banyaya admitted this, saying, it's very easy to lose a front. And in conditions like, in the Grand Prix, in a track like Mizano, where you break a lot, the front pressure can be a really big limit. But it's what we have. So, we have to understand better where to improve on that. We have to predict better what will happen in the race, because if you are in front a lot you have to do one thing for the race, if you are behind, you have to do another thing. So, it changes a lot, but this rule doesn't make our sport safer, for sure.